it going everybody? It's me Ronaldo. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something where I... Back on the channel, we used to always play random Xbox games. We played Night in the Woods, we played Oxen Freeze, we played always random games. So we're, today we're going to be doing a random game called Frog Detective, the entire mystery. Ah, uh, this looks fun. <coughs> <coughs> this is a random game that's on the Xbox, so... Without further ado, let's jump right in. I feel like you're just playing a frog that's a detective. What else do I need to explain? Oh, okay. Ooh, we have three cases and a case S. So we're gonna try to do a case per video. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> it is only one gigabyte, so it's probably not a lot. Oh, Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. <laughs> I love the music, by the way. I'm really loving this music. And if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. <laughs> Look around, use, okay. Look! I'm a frog, I think. Oh, look at that. Hello. Who is it? It's the supervisor. Oh, it's a penguin. <laughs> uh, what's a penguin voice? <laughs> Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? <laughs> Just Joe Swanson. Joe Swanson's the penguin. <laughs> yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got home from Indonesia. Ah, well, the Salomon Ding Dong Caliban. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't read, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really dyslexic. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyways, what are you calling about? Sorry, if I don't know what a frog sounds like, I think that's what a frog sounds like. Oh, hey, I have a case for you. Uh, man, I had a cough drop before this. I don't think it worked. Cool. It's a perfect spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. <laughs> There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. Oh, it's a ghost scientist. Uh huh. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on this island for two weeks. Wow. The ghost is still at large. So, the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a... Disappointing. Also, fun fact, I'm playing this on the Xbox, but I have PlayStation headphones. I, I don't know why it's working. I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's ability is far overweight my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So, are you up for it? I don't know. That sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, Detective. That's just what I want needed to hear. Thank you, Supervisor. Sorry, like I said, I'm a dyslexic. <laughs> I'll do it. Wahoo. Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? So sure thing. The base is sorry. There's a sloth who has a high of ghost noise around the island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. And it's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell, The Haunted Island, like that? Because that's the title of the case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, Supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Detective, detective, let's go. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Got your mind flying. Yeah, I got an achievement too. Woo! <laughs> I picked it up. <laughs> Look through the magnifying glass. Yes. It works like a magnifying glass. Time to solve a mystery. I like that. <laughs> uh, great Bronxter presents. Oh, well, on a boat. Boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. <laughs> a fog detective adventure. 
Program by Thomas Bowker. Soundtrack by Dan Golding. I might have to look up the soundtrack after this, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I really might have to look this up. I really do like jazz, too. Jazz is always so good. I love jazz. <laughs> Stein, the detective! Martin! Larry! Mo the mouse mouse! <laughs> Funny! Fresh X! And the rest! <laughs> Case number one, the haunted island! Alright. Alright, I think my mic's too close to me. I'm sorry if it's like really loud for you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the monkey notes hmm maybe man in a suit <laughs> oh wait that's right it's me hello i forgot this first person a lot ah you made it. you finally made it thanks for coming on such short notice i heard so much about your adventures i'm a huge fan <laughs> why did i already forget my voices <laughs> <clears throat> wow, that's very kind of you. When you figure out who's behind the forest thief in Witchtown, I can't believe it. I thought nobody could solve the mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog post. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once, and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can call me Mystery Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Can I ask some questions about the case? Of course. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> what would you like to know? The residents? Where to start? Mm, where to start? Who did I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay. Who should I talk to second? <laughs> <laughs> okay, asshole. <laughs> Larry, the top end one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, he mostly he wants to meet people. <sighs> I can't read. I think mostly he wants new people to meet. Not so much the other way around. Ah, oh, check it out. Thank you. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of the island is? Ah, that'll be Mike. You can find him hiding in the forest. I, he thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? I'm good for now. Ah, I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. <laughs> <clears throat> Hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll mix around the voices every now and then, okay? Hope we'll, we'll, be, we'll see which one maxes. Ooh, lamb. Okay, so we have uh, we have uh, so many animals. God, I, I, I might just have to do my voice for a lot of them. <laughs> Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby Doo. <laughs> Check my sunglasses. Get back. By me. It's Koala and a Holo. Hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Science line do not go in. I, I love all of this, by the way. I am loving all of this. Aesthetically and beautifully, this is a good game. <laughs> Noodle. His name is Noodle. That is amazing. <laughs> what, what can Noodle sound like? <clears throat> Alright. How's it hanging? Eh. Fine, I guess. Wood mostly. Alright. That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against that. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why you want? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? Well, the first week, sure. 
Not now, though. I've been at the po <coughs> Sorry, I'm messing up with the noodle. I'm really stuck about what a lamb should sound like, or I think it's a sheep of a lamb. I think it's, it should be something dark, because it goes like, ah, or does a lamb do that too? I don't know. I'm, I'm fucking just stupid. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've been at this post the entire time. <laughs> uh, you know what? Noodle is just gonna be me. I just, just because of, I'm not. <laughs> I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. <laughs> Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your wolf. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. So yuck. Split ends everywhere. I usually get cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. That's totally fine. Thanks for trying to share my feelings. <laughs> but this wool everywhere. <laughs> I think everyone is grossed out by it. Ah. Surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My job is made out of wool. Ha, <laughs> you feel? Yeah. That's weird. That's weird that you're wearing my hair. The wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coin of your slime? What? Ew! Gross, right? Sure, but... Fuck, you have a point. <laughs> slime is kinda gross anyway. <laughs> and I'm saying that as someone who's very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. That's the first time I heard someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? <coughs> I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. Happy to take your wool away from me if you like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. <clears throat> Ugh, yes, please. But I need something to clean it up with. Like a broom, or like, fire. <laughs> cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's bodies? I might have asked more questions. Ask what? This hall. What can I tell me about this hall? I hate this hall. Why? It never does anything. That's a hall. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. I'm not Shia LaBeouf. Maybe there's a ghost in this hall. Have you looked? I looked. No ghost in it. It's a pretty deep hole. It goes smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down? Do you hear any ghost ghosts coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Barney's and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? Don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Might if I ask some questions? Ask away. I don't have any more. <laughs> no questions right now. Okay. I keep forgetting it's first person. That's weird. Look at you. You fat. <laughs> now it's some whole noise. Some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghost? I'm not qualified. <laughs> Same, buddy. This might come in handy. I got a magnet. This looks like a game I would make, and I love that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a duck! I already know what a duck should sound like. He looks like the one from, um... Don't hug me, I'm scared. <laughs> ah, stop right there! My shells! Don't step on my shells! Ow. Oh. Oh, wow. 
We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alive. I'm on a yacht. I am protecting my shell. I'm dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. That's because I'm small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Right. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me anything. Just be careful. Okay. The cave. <laughs> Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. I just... <sighs> I, I can't. I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> just looks like a bunch of piles of rock if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. That's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Ask me questions. Just be careful. Tiny shells. Why don't you just get bigger shells? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey! Sorry. It just... There's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Huh. Ask me questions. Just be careful. Nothing right now. Nothing right now. I'll come back later. It's a mouse. Uh, a mouse? Koala? There's a bear? There's a lobster? I have to do talk to you. I do have to talk to you. Hi, it's me, Larry. Hello. I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I did it. I, Larry, did not make those spooky noises. That's, like, more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I did not make the noises. No, I heard. I just, I did not like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. I just- Are you going to ask me questions? Yeah, just ask me away, uh, the questions I mean. <laughs> Can you stop interrupting? <laughs> Can you stop interrupting? What can you tell me about the noise? Finally! <laughs> Firstly, I'm not the one making them. <laughs> yeah. But I know they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe it's just, yeah, I am a really good listener. How do you get in the caves? Well, I need a few things. To get through, you just need some sort of explosive device. Is it safe? You're dealing with Gus here, detective. None of that is safe. Anyway. I need a few things. Well, I looked up the explosive recipe in one of my own chemistry books. I need to piss, whoa, and a pure gold and some pasta. Oh. So the normal explosive ingredients then? Just a standard explosive recipe. Yes. If you want to get in that cave, bring me these ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me then the questions, I bet. So, 
you know what? He's probably going to add... I should probably ask him, because he's probably going to actually tell me where to go instead of just me trying to figure it out. Ingredients. Can you list the ingredients? Of Paste, toothpaste, a war, a chunk of pure god, and some pasta. Thanks. Does me then the questions? Okay, well, how about the explosives? Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need toothpaste, a war, pure chunk of god, and some pasta. Thanks. Ask me that. Okay, so we have to go to him in the end to go to McCain. Okay, okay, I know, okay, okay, okay. It's a bear! <laughs> hey, it's spaghetti. Where's that mine? Oh, do I have to ask him for the pasta? Duh. It's a bear! Or Bernie the bear. Let's do Bernie the bear so we can do the Freddy Fazbear one. <laughs> hey! Oh, you the detective, right? I'm the one that the monkey keeps going on about. That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know we're nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why'd you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. I think it seemed like it was a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? The uh, one that only smart people can figure out. Like me. Is there gonna be a cover? Maybe they're testing you. <gasps> oh no. You're right. I better look confident. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you need to know? About this hole. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean... It's not great at this job. It'll be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know. But, it does seem like the noise is coming from this hole of a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distant tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Uh. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> A good information, thanks. Yes, I'm very good at fighting things out, if you know what I mean. Freddy, I'm not a secret agent. Uh -huh. What else do you need to know? Secret agent! <laughs> you mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? <sighs> secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a sacred agent. Sure, you know. But he winks. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I could be a secret agent, the things I could give up for that magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. That's interesting. What else do you need to know? Why did you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows a magnifying glass is the coolest you can use in your life. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Less than. Fine, fine, you're not a secret agent, whatever. What else do you want to know? <laughs> I like that he's like, buddy? <laughs> it's like the whole, it's like Matthew Leonard in the movie. It's like, I needed that. I needed that. You're pushing your luck, Scoob. <laughs> There's a storm. It's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why that? There's no ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said, You don't look happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. Hey, ask why you're so sad. Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Oh, hey, he has a shell too. Okay, this is all coming together. <laughs> I told you, it's silly. <laughs> why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. 
Are you dreaming to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on to it? Oh? Why is that? Boats are so fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, it'll be really fast too. Nice. Hey? I don't have any idea where to find one though. Even if I did, there's no way I'm getting it out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Anything else I need to know? The magnet. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, of your what? Are you for real? Yeah. This is Jinko. <laughs> he looks so happy. Yay! This is a Jinko too. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Nice. Okay, so we get to talk to We need to talk to the mouse at least. But I wanna see if there's anything else around here. Oh yeah, the sloth. Okay, let's talk to the sloth then the There we go. <laughs> we getting it. We doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. My, uh, what does a, what should a sloth be? I'm not going to do like the sloth thing. What? Who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm a fraud detector. Here from the agency. Oh. Okay, don't sneak up on me like that. I was really visible in the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess you just don't look so spooky. Okay, I do my best. <laughs> he smiles. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So, I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dream competition. The dance competition. No, I mean to ask who's Finley. Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Can you get questions for me? Yeah. Oh, wow, he has a lot. When you're in a dance competition, can you tell me a little bit more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Got any questions for me? Oh, you mentioned your friend Friendly. Who's that? Friendly lives in the Nyambai Island. Comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Friendly, she was talking about the songs she wanted to dance for the competition. Her news is really amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in like a while. But she'll probably still prepping around the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'm able to compete. What was with this whole spooky situation going on? Got any questions for me? Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know where they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide Foolproof Way to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book that says most ghosts can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Got any questions for me? Nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting to me down. I haven't been able to sleep. It's kind of annoying. Because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure you get to the bottom of things. The bottom of great more like, what? Well, it makes sense in my head. I guess it's mean, like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark! Just like the goddess in the tail! Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I solved every case I take in one. Except the mystery how to put a hat on. My hat is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the corporate. Best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to come down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. 
Let's try a visualize exercise. What's a vis... you... Logician exorcism? It's a thing where we return. Imagine. You're on the beach, surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cold breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It's a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a beach. So a ghost here. No. The ghost is on holiday. Oh. Okay. Who is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize what's going on the road trip it said? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, our waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. There will no ghost around. The ghost is on a road trip. Yes, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great. Me too. Thank you so much, Detective. That's okay. I want to give you something that stinks. Piece of the gun. <gasps> Gold! <laughs> wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made out of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Got any questions for me? Um, not at the moment. <laughs> hey, I'm really loving this game, guys. I'm really loving this game. <laughs> I'm really loving this game. It's cute. It's adorable. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to do more. Hi, little buddy. Look at you. You have a smiley face. <laughs> I love it. Are you Finley? Oh, that's right. Mo the mouse mouse. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I just never talked to a detective before. I heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. What? If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. Very good news. But the conversation isn't over. This is no time. I have to be careful. Uh, well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You're nervous. You seem very nervous, may I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing, I told you. Uh, I am afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. Sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh. I didn't actually have a dream about that. Why are you so afraid of me? Fine! You wore me down! Damn your extreme detective skills! I'm nervous about the mystery monkey! Mystery monkey's such a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super nice. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess up everything. Oh. Well. Is there anything I can do to help? There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress him. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? Could you give me Mystery Monkey mouthwash in return? Sure thing, I'll do my best. Questions? Yes? That bottle. What's in that bottle next to you? That's, that's my mouthwash. Uh, my mouthwash mouthwash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean to write the first time. Mouthwash mouthwash. Mouthwash 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 mouthwash. Can you guys say that five times? Because I fucking can't. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. I'll get to it. Thanks. Questions? Yes? A ghost. What can you tell me about that ghost? There's a ghost? Are you a ghost scientist? Oh, ghost scientist. Not toe scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toe scientist? Yeah. I only took the job because, you know. Uh, you know. Because you like toast? 
Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Nothing about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. A heap of weird noises. I don't think they hear me from a ghost stove. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around if the ghost was holding it. It happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions? Yes? I'm good. Alright, so we have a whole journey to go, baby. We got it, we got it, we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are gonna go ask Monkey what he prefers for a dance move. We're going to go get some wool from the sheep. We are going to go give the shell to the duck so we can get the magnifying gas so we can go give ours to the bear and then the bear can make a dynamite with the pasta probably because I mean he can give us a pasta and then you know everything works out. It's so good. Oh, I'm, uh, oh I love it. It's all coming together. It's weird when I use my brain. <laughs> what would you like to know? Dance styles. Hey, so, uh, you like dancing and, uh, dancing styles? I don't understand. Mm, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What kind of dancing do you like? Well, I basically have my own move. Yeah? But, like, if you saw someone dancing, and, like, a scenario where you most likely would be like, this is such a great dance! Huh? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh. I think big dancing is so neat. If I saw someone big dancing, wow, I would be swoon. I wouldn't even be so far to say, if I saw someone saw big dance, I would be deeply impressed. That I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry if it was such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye. Got the monkey back. <laughs> He's in my corner. <laughs> Alright, let's go cut your hair. I may not have all the answers. Go ahead. Ask away. Room. Hey, I got that room. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this room? Absolutely. Can I keep your wall? Still weird, but yeah, knock yourself out. <laughs> what? I mean, like, take all the wool you want, <laughs> not physically knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. I feel like this game was made for me. I love it. <laughs> uh, Always ask questions. Ask me questions. Just be careful. Big star. I have a big star if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyways, I told you what that show. Can I swap you for it? I have the magnifying gas. But I won't need it now that I have the big show. Oh, thanks. It's still standing right now. I'm still in the alert. Here, have a magnifying glass. Woohoo! Ha ha! No, you said I could see it. What the fuck? You lying to me? You lied to me. Hi! <laughs> Hi, buddy! <laughs> I didn't see that. Ah, oh, look, there's another turtle right here. Hi! <laughs> That's so cute! Oh, it's... It's an alligator. Hi, buddy. Fresh X, howdy! Hello. Are you, uh... Yep. Great. You brought the toothpaste supplement? Huh? Ah, uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I tell you the detect? Detect. Oh, wait, is he southern or a. or. what? <laughs> Fresh X! Like, he sounds like a crocodile. He's like, Rawr! like, eh! Hey. Yes. Nice. I have some questions, is that okay? Take it away, Detect! Yeah. 
laurels. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my off day. I've been working so hard for the last few weeks. Like, alligator, rawr. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. That's right. Arr. Not about the sun. Talk about the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. So I had a question on your days off. Take it away, d -tick. Uh. Yeah, I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With the Dr. Tight Smile All 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste with Teeth TM, of course. Doctor's Tile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this. Dr. Tight Smile's 101 Toothpaste Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth Trademark. I gotta ship me here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? Um, well, I can give you my tube. But I would have to s need something else to keep my mouth fresh. Oh, that's why I need the, uh... Okay, 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 I'm good. Okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> oh, it's all coming together. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, little, I love spider. That's no one. Question, question, questions. What else could I do? <laughs> I can't. What the fuck? I can't read. What else do you want to know? I have a spam magnifying glass for your are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Yeah. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with the secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. Can I give you my lunch? Oh, that's quick. Foster, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's Foster. Anyway, my appetite is satisfied from the darkness of the magnifying glass. That's a weird way to point that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah! All yours. Okay. I gotta go talk to the mouse. I think him and the monkey would make an amazing couple, I'm not gonna lie. You have some questions? Questions, yes! Styles. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. Why did I mention you? Ooh. Mystery Monkey likes break dancing the best. Break dancing? I think I could do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's some mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. I'm loving the music, like, oh. I wish it was a fog, then I would love to do a come with the fog. <laughs> I thought this was a fog. Well, I mean, like, another fog. Cause, I mean, there's always come with the fog, then there's fog voice. My fog voice is good. <laughs> Take it away, d -tuck. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks! Are you able to use your toothpaste? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go, d -tuck. I'm trying to make him sound like a server dude, I keep forgetting to. Also hard, yes. Got the explosive device. Woo -hoo -hoo. More questions. Ask them more questions, man. Explosions. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow, oh, you got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some divide? Dynamite! Fuck, I can't breathe! Oh wait, no, I mean yes, I mean yes, I mean yes, no, I mean yes. Explosion, I mean yes, fuck. Alright, let me 
Let's do it. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry. Well, that is it. Yup. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm very nervous. Me too. But when I ever come in the cave, you are not. I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Oh, let's do this! <laughs> Larry's dead! No! <laughs> I'm sorry, I love his walk cycle. That's so funny. That is amazing. I love the loading screen. That is hilarious. Ooh. Mystery cave, mystery cave. I love to be in a mystery cave. I feel like it's... I'm going to find a gnome. I feel like I'm going to find a gnome. A gnome. A gnome. A gnome. A gnome. Hello, who are you? Are you Finley? Finley! Oh, hi! Who are you? Are you a ghost? Haha, <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, why are you? Who are you? Finley! Who are you? A detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley, I know that name. I'm pretty well known around the local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Like to see for my dance competition? It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, geez, like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. Ha! <laughs> Wait. Two weeks? Have you seen a ghost around? <laughs> nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all these ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every creasive. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You're been dancing for a turn wing strike? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. I mean, those mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. Hey man, you haven't had a good trip with them, that's why. <laughs> it's a joke, YouTube. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyways, Martin's been super spooked because he's been hearing weird noises all around the island. Any idea what those noises mean? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. This sounds like your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped too. No, you've been trapped in here, right? And the cave's been blocked up by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, you, you could have died. <laughs> uh, then I'd actually be a ghost. I never think of that. Yeah. You're really fucked up, you know that? <laughs> 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 anyway, I should head back to the island. Yep. Let's go tell everyone what the whole jizz was. I love his walk! Yes! Keep that his walk forever, please. 
Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... What? How did you get in? It's been sailed off for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so warped up and practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost! Nope, just me! It just goes to show you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead! <laughs> <laughs> Are, without exception, factually inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read books, kids. They're stupid. Yeah. Hey. Hi there. Sorry for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check on vibe. <laughs> Validity of the Arthur's sources and to check the books is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you, developer. I love you so much. <laughs> so, anyway, as I was saying, that was really fucking weird. <laughs> books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening up my eyes to the usefulness of books. Very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing in the competition this whole time? Yep. I had a minute to win it. I'm not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Man, it's kind of dance competition. The best winner wins. Oh, sorry. The best winner wins. Dan <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Who else is competing? That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more intro. I think we need more introns. I know a few hardworking friends who can use a good burger, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's get the dance competition today. Yeah. Yeah. Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, Detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out the whole noise was coming from. Larry? Is that the lobster? The one that talks to over everybody? Yep. Hm. I give my thanks to Larry. Shall we boogie? Let's go. I love this game. I'm really loving this game. I can't wait to do the other two episodes. <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! I'm loving this game. Anyways, yeah! Thank you for playing! <laughs> go! Go! Fog Detective! Hey! Alright, and that was episode one of Fog Detective. I hope you guys do enjoy this series because I, I do not mind playing another episode. This is so amazing, so amazing. Oh, Fog Detective is so funny. Uh, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully we'll do another one soon, okay? Uh, and as always, I see you guys in the next video, okay? You say you and I say me, okay? Love you. <laughs>